Hi, Eric Peacock here with the Rapid Fat Loss Challenge. We're going to talk about your home depleter lactic workout. Now, the whole point of this workout is twofold. We're going to deplete your muscles of glycogen or stored carbohydrate to create that dry sponge effect, which is going to help your body utilize carbohydrates better. Plus, it's going to force you. We're going to drain the carbohydrate stores, getting your body to burn more fat. A lot of times, we were like a wet sponge, and we keep pouring water on a wet sponge. If we, drip, if we pull that sponge out, dry it out, there's no other water coming in. We've got to get that water from somewhere else. That would be like your fat stores. So we're going to drain the body of carbohydrates here the first two weeks. We're going to create a better insulin sensitive environment, which is going to help hormonally burn fat. So the first part of the workout is going to be what we call the depleter part. So this is kind of boring, but it's effective. So it's not a lot to remember, which is good. Uh, we're going to have three exercises, and we're going to work between those three exercises. So first exercise is going to be goblet squats. We're going to take a dumbbell here, we're going to hold this tight against our chest. And notice i got a bench here, but you want something that's a fairly low target. So when I squat, I'm going to sit back into my heels, my knees come out, I'm going to tap my butt on the bench. It should be something that gets your thighs at least parallel here. And I'm not actually sitting, I'm just tapping. And I'm keeping this tight, so I feel the weight when I sit back into my heels, in my glutes. And then I'm also going to have, as you're watching from this side, as I come into the squat, my knees don't come in, they go out to keep my heels flat. That actually helps me fire my hips better, so make sure your knees are out. I'm not cranking my toes out, but I'm just pushing my knees out. And I want to use a fairly fast tempo here, because a fast tempo kind of helps burn up and store the carbohydrate in the body. So we're going to start off with a set of 10 there, and then once I'm done with that, I'm going to go right down to either my knees, off my knees, or I can do it on a rail. So, uh, push-ups. I'm going to go down here. Um, if you're really strong, you can get off your knees. You're going to come down here, keep your head centered, shoulder blades pinched. Back up, make sure you get to about 90 degrees. Nothing, one, one, one thing I see a lot of is the head moving forward. We'd rather have you do this, so it's something you can do for at least 15 reps. So if you can't do at least 15 push-ups off your knees, you're going to go to your knees. And you're going to push your shoulder blades together, head centered. Rock it forward just like this and maintaining that straight alignment. Pulling your belly button in, pinching your shoulder blades at the bottom, go to 90 degrees, maybe at least 90 degrees, but not much past that though. And you're gonna use a fast tempo. Now, if you can't do that, either one of those, your other option is, is to find something like a counter or a table and do them this way. So you got three options with push-ups. But once again, we wanna use a fast tempo. Now your third exercise, is you're going to come over here and you're going to do a roll. So we've got a push, a pull, and a lower body. So we're going to hit every muscle in the body with this depleter piece. Tie this off to something that's even with the butt, your belly button. You're going to step back here, squat down, and we're going to pull the shoulder blades back. I'm leading with my shoulder blades, squeezing my shoulder blades, and I want a fairly pet, uh, medium to heavy piece of tubing here, so I'm using those big, strong upper back muscles, and I'm really pulling my shoulder blades together. My elbows want to come in at 90 degrees here, not up here. So as I come into this, I'm, I'm coming into this from the side. Here, I'm holding my base, and I'm coming in right down here, not up here. Not out here, so down here. Kind of drag it through the pinky so I really feel those upper back muscles work. Biceps are going to be helping out. We want the upper back to be the main mover. So we are going to do a set of 10 of each of those in a circuit, meaning we're going to do non-stop. We're going to keep moving. We're going to do that for six, six rounds, six rounds the first week. The second week, we're going to add two rounds to it. We're going to go to eight rounds. All right, so we're going to do that for the, the pleater workout for the first two weeks of the workout, and then we're going to move on to the next phase. So this will be your home workout, the strength phase. Make sure you watch the video for the lactic phase coming up right behind this.